first of all, I need um, a check for five thousand dollars, and then we can talk. <laughs> I sell my thinking very much, so yeah. So I can't do that for you right now. Okay, guys, you heard it. If you wanna know how to market your stuff, we have the guy here. Yeah. Do you budget to Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's five thousand dollars for you for thinking for thinking yeah okay so, so there's no art trick no branding no visual no nothing if you want me to think about your problem because it's not me we're a team let's say my my business is not even worth five thousand dollars so then please, you're talking to the wrong you. person yeah figure it out yourself in get youtube no no bundle you found them on your Hakuna kitu cha ajabu tunachokifanya ambacho wewe uweze kukifanya. Kwani sisi tulifundishwa chuo. Hivi vitu haviko chuo bro. Okay. Yeah, tunafanya, tuna uzoefu zaidi yako labda. Lakini kusema kweli, yeah. if you really decide, if you decide this morning, well, it's not a morning. Tomorrow morning. If you decide that, hey, you know what? I want to learn how to make websites. Ushindwi. So you have to decide is this worth my effort, my time, and my skills? Or am I good at this and I want somebody else to do this website for me? Marketing is something that anybody can do. Hatufanani uwezo, but anybody can do it. And usually, if you don't have money, you have time. So if you don't have 5K, you probably have the time to figure it out by yourself. So personally, how, how long have you been doing marketing? Professionally, I guess this would be 14 years. Yeah. So basically, people are paying you for your 14 years of experience, not just what you, what you're doing to them at the moment. Exactly. Yeah. So you decide, do you want to, maybe it won't take you 14 years as much as it took me, but do you want to spend four years to learn how to do branding? Or do you want to talk to somebody who's done enough branding? They can give you guaranteed results, um, but at uh, what we think is a fair price. Yeah. So as we were talking behind cameras, I told you a lot of people will see you, let's say you're doing a podcast, yeah. and without knowing the context, maybe they'll just see a short reel on Instagram or on TikTok, yeah. and they'll start insulting, criticizing, yeah. and talking shit. So, how do you handle criticism from this kind of people? Those who mind don't matter, and those who matter don't mind. Fuck them. Those who mind don't, don't matter, mind. and those who matter don't mind. Everything has an audience. Never gets in your mind. No, nah, and it doesn't cross my mind, Gabis. Do you, do you read comments? Yeah. yeah, all the time. I respond to some of them myself. I have access to all the channels. Yeah. I took quasi can be any fresh safia in a norma. I don't know. So where do you see Sasa podcast in ten years from now? What's the vision? Sure. I'm not sure. I, I'm I'm really not sure. But we have a dream. Maybe I can share the dream because the vision is like a ah, vision. It's serious. We have a dream. The dream is embracing failure. Why? Because come on over you funza by scaly. Utadondoka dondoka and then you'll stop falling down and then you'll ride the bike smoothly, right? And such is the same with life. Um, so in the process of embracing failure, it will be a beautiful thing if Msasa, as a podcast, became bigger. Bigger because the more people we reach, the more potential impact we can have on people's lives. But it, also, it would also be a beautiful thing if Msasa could have on-ground things right happening like um view on um not so long ago maybe two or three weeks ago i was with one of my colleagues who's actually here today natulienda um ud um co ict and we met um, a bunch of innovators and these are software developers and it guys who have beautiful ideas and they don't know how to take things to market no no so maybe kuna kuna sessions am sasa about how to take digital products to market, right? Um, luckily, we've got a little bit of experience with clients and by ourselves, we also own distro. So we know what e-commerce looks like um, and how to balance being a digital and an on-ground, blah, blah, blah. 
Um, so it would be nice to be able to have Mtsasa sessions and Bosna to get in person. I love that you do events. Good for you. That's beautiful. I think it would be nice if we can explore that as well. It would also be nice to be able to grow into this hub where people can go to avoid making certain mistakes because you don't have to learn 100% by making your own mistakes and you, know, you can learn from other people's mistakes and it helps you unajua mtu akishakwambia pale bwana kuna bamsi si ukikaribia unapunguza mwendo ili ufike ile bamsi vizuri yeah so the bigger the dream is let's do something that can be of value for a very very long time for this generation and the next um that will allow people to embrace and appreciate the value of failure um how far it will go we're not sure um but you know not all impact as many people as possible and the name of this podcast goes is make your own destiny podcast yeah. yeah so what advice do you have for viewers in order to make their own destiny that has helped you as well to get to where you are right now what advice do i have for viewers to Who wants to make their own destiny like what tips um Uh, um the only thing that can come to mind is do the work and pay the price everything has a price pay the price do the sacrifice do the work yeah personally do you have mentors like people that you look up to in what we're doing so i have people i look up to and i aspire and admire i don't have mentors no not i don't have access to those people that i aspire and admire yeah what's the importance of someone like what's the benefits of having a mentor and not having a mentor for someone i think it's very subjective bro so i can't shauri this is not advice but i can to share my subjective experience i uh, i feel like if you're lucky enough to meet somebody who's willing to give you their time shukuru mungu take as much knowledge as you can If you're not lucky enough, pick their book, read their thing, listen to their interviews, follow them. You will if you pay close enough attention, you will notice familiar trends that you can borrow. Um so is it nice to have a mentor? I guess it is. I've never had one, so I don't know. Um do you have to have a mentor? No. Um should you look up to certain people? Maybe. I mean, it inspires you. Um and it it inspires you even more when you know how much they failed before they became this amazing thing that you now look up to because that's the problem with most people most of us young guys we look at one of our safa i see you did an episode with bona fe eh? and you're like yeah i want to be a politician too you know skaje your favorite vingi kinoma kabla hajao na siasa na hata singe kama na siasa Shikajiko vizuri sana. Yeah? Yeah, he's got some experiences. So if you look up to him, should you have his contact if you're lucky poor? Because the thing is also, the people that we admire, they are themselves, by the time you're admiring them and seeing them, something is happening in their lives, right? They're also building. They're also busy. So they can't give you that much time. If they can poor, but if they don't, yongeza tu mwenye fuatilia, jifunze, pick a book watch a video yeah, if you haven't watched the episode about my fa just go and explore our channel you'll see it yeah asante nashukuru sana na set kali nimependa jina la baro nimekaa kinywa jiflani hivi eh ni kama eka baro meto eh acha ni sana baro meto kaa kaa fetch kinywa jiwa fikina gonga Asante sana mshikaji wangu. Yeah. Thank you so much for coming and sharing your knowledge. We really appreciate. Thank, Thank you. you. And we hope after 50 episodes of Msasa podcast, we'll share a strategy. Yeah, you come yeah. back here and share. Amen, Amen to that. Have, I predict you you have a million subscribers by then. Amen. Yeah. To a million subscribers. So guys, if you want Msasa, they say just comment down Msasa. And Alicia will come back. See you on the next episode.